Meanwhile, another 2012 study, this one by the University of Chicago, found the urge to check social media was stronger than the urge to smoke or drink alcohol. A 2013 German study found that Facebook can make users envious and dissatisfied, while a study from Columbia Business School and Pittsburgh University found that Facebook use can lead one to become fat and broke. The executive director of the Internet Addiction and Recovery Center recently told The Week, Internet addiction is the same as any other addiction, excessive release of dopamine. Addiction is addiction, whether it's gambling, cocaine, alcohol, or Facebook. First Corinthians 10 verse 31 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of God Matthew 5 verse 29 If your right eye causes you to sin tear it out and throw it away for it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell James 3 verse 10 from the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Matthew 5 verse 16 Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Ephesians 5 verse 16 Making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Philippians 2 verse 14 to 15 Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Proverbs 18 verse 2 a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Matthew 22 verse 39 You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 Godliness with contentment is a great gain. Mark 8 verse 36 For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? Proverbs 25 verse 14 Like clouds and wind without rain is a man who boasts of a gift he does not give.
So look up from your phone, shut down the display. Take in your surroundings, make the most of today. Just one real connection is all it can take to show you the difference that being there can make. Be there in the moment that she gives you the look that you remember forever as when love overtook. The time she first holds your hand or first kiss your lips. The time you first disagree but still love her to bits. The time you don't have to tell hundreds of what you've just done because you want to share this moment with just this one. The time you sell your computer so you can buy a ring for the girl of your dreams who is now the real thing. The time you want to start a family and the moment when you first hold your little girl and get to fall in love again. The time she keeps you up at night and all you want is rest and the time you wipe away the tears as your baby flees the nest. The time your baby girl returns with a boy for you to hold and the time he calls you granddad and makes you feel real old. The time you take in all you've made just by giving life attention and how you're glad you didn't waste it by looking down at some invention. The time you hold your wife's hand, sit down beside her bed. You tell her that you love her, lay a kiss upon her head. She then whispers to you quietly as her heart gives a final beat that she's lucky she got stopped by that lost boy in the street. But none of these times ever happened. You never had any of this. When you're too busy looking down, you don't see the chances you miss. Disconnect from the need to be heard and defined. Go out into the world, leave distractions behind. Look up from your phone, shut down that display. Live life the real way. But there are times when social media can get in the way of the real world. Remember that? It's the thing that happens when you run out of battery. That's why we've developed the Social Media Guard. It takes the social out of media and puts it back into your life. Let's see how it works.